Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David. I love magic. I love playing cards. Hopefully you do also because this is where I do magic reviews, I do playing card reviews, and I do tons of giveaways. I'm even doing a giveaway right now at the recording of this video. So yeah, I do giveaways all the time. So make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit all your notifications so that you know when my videos go up. And a huge thank you to all my current subscribers. I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you guys so much. Today we're going to do a deck review for the new Cheetah deck from GeminiDecks.com. All right, GeminiDecks.com. I've done tons of reviews for Gemini, love Tomas Pinson, love the team down there. Uh, Gemini always puts out very fun, very creative decks of cards. A lot of them have kind of a very 80s feel to them, and this one is no exception. I know it doesn't actually look like a cheetah pattern, right? It's not an actual cheetah pattern. They're more like uh, floating barbells uh, or maybe like a child's band-aid. But uh, you have a cheetah graphic down there in the corner that does feel very 80s. And if you don't know, the cheetah is a large cat of the subfamily Felane that occurs in North, Southern, and East Africa, and a few localities in Iran. It inhabits a variety of mostly arid habitats like dry forests, scrub forests, and savannas. And of course, we all know the cheetah is fast. Its top speed is 75 miles per hour. So uh, you want to hear a dad joke? This is, this is my dad joke because I'm a dad. Uh, why can't you play cards? Huh? Huh? Why can't you play cards in the African savanna? Because of all the cheetahs. Because <laughs> of all the cheetahs. The tech case is all done in yellow and black and you have that cheetah graphic down there in the lower right. The sides are blank, the top is blank, the bottom has some ad copy for Gemini, and the back is still the wrapped around pattern. So you just have that pattern wrapped all the way around. You have an original cheetah tuck seal and the back side says cheetah playing cards made in the USA. That's everything I can say about this tuck case. Let's break it open and look at the cards. GeminiDex.com always prints their cards with United States playing card company stock because Bicycle makes the best cards on the planet. The back design is that same cheetah pattern we saw on the tech case, and you have a medium-sized poker border. With this deck, you'll get two gaff cards. You'll get a blank faced card and a double backer card, which are great for magic tricks. Also with this deck, you'll get two original jokers. It's a cheetah. It's a cheetah, and it says cheetah above it. it does not say joker though, but you get it. They're joker cards. Your ace of spades is a simple large ace of spades there in the center, and you have the cheetah graphic floating in the center that was on the tuck case. Your pips and indice cards are standard shaped, but they're exploded. So the pips uh, in the center are much larger. They're almost like a low vision uh, larger. And then your aces also have a larger center pip. So that's cool. I like that the graphic takes up more space. Um, your court cards are also gonna be standard. However, they have been recolored. So mostly it's gonna be that red orange color, um, some golds and blacks. Well, that's everything I can say about what the cards look like, but you also want to know how they feel. You also want to know how they handle. Best thing I can do is I can weigh these and measure them so that you know exactly um, how they might compare it perhaps to another deck you've held before. So 10 of these cards in the caliper come to 2.75. 2.75 is a very thin deck. It's the double crush stock uh, and the similar thickness to maybe uh, the Bumblebee deck or the Madison Kittens deck or the Visa red deck from Alex Pandrea. Right now you can head on down to GeminiDecks.com. You can pick this deck up for 12 bucks. You should because they always are a limited run. They always sell out. I want to thank everyone down at GeminiDecks.com for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it yourself, like I said, go to GeminiDecks.com. Thanks to Tomas. Thanks to everybody else. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.